Anyone who's planted a garden recently is probably a little concerned right now. Experts warn that the freezing temperatures could kill off everything from flowers to fruit trees. New at 6 tonight, 2 News reporter Will Free joins us now live to explain how people are trying to protect their plants. Will? Well, here at the Levesey Orchards in Porter, Oklahoma, it would be impossible to cover up or bring inside all these peach trees. There are actually about 10,000 on these orchards alone. That's why the owners have gone to new heights to protect all these plants. A slow start to spring this year caused these premature peaches to bud later than normal. And now the owner of Livesey Orchards says he's got to fight another cold snap. I expect that we're going to get through this freeze fine, but I think our crop will be a little bit later than what's typical. To fight off the freeze, Kent Livesey has called in some high-flying help. The helicopters are just kind of insurance to protect against lower than predicted temperatures. Kent plans to use helicopters to hover over the orchard and push down warmer air in the middle of the night. If we only get to 28 tonight, it, it wouldn't be very important for us. But if uh, if it got just a little bit below what's forecast, we would really regret not having some way to stir the air. At Southwood Nursery in South Tulsa, they're taking the freeze warning seriously too and moving inside all their outdoor inventory. We're very close to the point where a lot of damage is likely to occur. Paul James says a freeze could really hurt any vegetables people have planted as well as any annuals. So if people already have marigolds out or they have impatience or they've got their caladiums out, for instance, that stuff's not going to make it. Well, the Levesey say three helicopters will come in around at 3 in the morning and fly about 30 feet above us um, over the trees here and push down all the warm air and hopefully prevent any bad freezes. Live in Porter, Will Dupree, 2 News Works for you. Thank you. Well, going in now with more information on plants and frost, here are some ways to try and save plants and trees that do get frostbitten. First, don't prune the dead leaves or limbs right away. They help protect the new growth. Second, don't fertilize right away to get it to grow back. It can burn the plant. Third, do water the plants and trees after the frost. They're going to need the water to help them re -leaf. And finally, be patient. Experts say it can take a while for plants and trees to recover.